the supercar killer uh, on Instagram so today I have I received a downpipe um, so this thing's all the way in from the UK from trackslag.com um, as you can see this is for the uh, Mark 7 GTI this is 4 inch MQB front wheel drive uh, version of their downpipe um, pretty good size um, so what I was going to do is I just got it out the box right now it came shipped DHL I ordered this thing up uh, I want to say like the day or two after Thanksgiving and uh, yeah it's, it's here already it's like the 2nd of December and it's already here so uh, what I'm going to do is let me, let me get all the rest of this packaging off of it so we can, uh, we can see what we have here. All right, guys, we're back. I have the track slag downpipe here in front of me for the front wheel drive MQB platform vehicles. Um, I got an unbox all the packaging off of it or whatever so we can see exactly what we're getting here. So it's a four inch to three and a half to a three exiting out the back and then hooking from here up to the rest of the, the downpipe or the, uh, the cat back system of the vehicle. But from just initially looking at it, I mean, it looks like it's a really good quality part. As you can see, the wells are really nice. Um, So this section here is going to be your four inch section, which honestly I thought was a bit overkill at first. I saw the CTS version of it. Um, theirs goes from like four inch, like directly to a three inch or something like that. And it just, I don't know, it just didn't look like it, they took a lot of time to see that through. Um, I like the way this kind of steps down from a four to a three and a half to a three. Um, Although I really just wanted a three and a half all the way back. Um, that's, can't really find that. I think I found like one other company that makes that, but it was really expensive. And, um, but anyway, um, this one seems to make a lot of sense. Uh, it came from track slag pretty quickly uh, from the UK to here in the US. Um, I saw some reviews or some guys that were talking about it on uh, YouTube and decided maybe this is a good, you know, a good purchase. And so, yeah, so I went ahead and picked one up. And I have to say, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with what I'm seeing so far. Um, uh, I mean, it makes sense to have the four inch uh, where it first connects up because this can be used as an expansion chamber for all the exhaust is coming out of the vehicle or out of the turbo into this area here, kind of alleviating some of the, 
the back pressure off the turbo when you're spooling this thing. And then as it exits out, it, you know, it tapers down to a three inch so that it can still connect with most other exhaust and, and, and you know, should be able to flow pretty well. Um, I was doing a bunch of research on exhaust sizes and what's needed for said horsepower. And I never really got an exact answer uh, because, you know, different engine sizes and different turbo sizes and all these different variables or whatever as to what's needed. I mean, it seems like the standard, you know, what I saw was, you know, if you're basically 500 horses and under, it seems like three inches enough. Let's see, also we have... I also picked up, let's see, so I think it comes with this piece that's included with the kit. Um, this basically is an adapter piece that goes on to the end of it, like this. And then this clamp would go around that portion of it here. And then I went ahead and I picked up this clamp as well. Uh, to go over the end of this and to connect it to the rest of the catback system for the vehicle. Um, but yeah, I mean, my thoughts on it, I mean, like I said, the, the, the wells on the product, the quality of it, I mean, it looks like a really well built thing. I don't think we're gonna have any issues with it. So I just want to know what the numbers are going to be, um, if it's going to help me in any kind of way, whether if it's spool time or if I'll get more numbers out of it as far as horsepower, torque goes. Uh, I just hope that it benefits the vehicle in some sort of way. And then also the weight of the thing, that's another important factor with a lot of these parts that we buy. Is a lot of people don't consider the weight to the horsepower, but I mean, just picking this thing up, I I really can't tell you how much it weighs. I'm thinking somewhere around, this feels close to about 20, 25 pounds. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but it was around 500 bucks, I believe is what it was. Um, so the price wasn't too bad for what it is. And uh, yeah, we'll see what uh, what's what once we get this thing on the car and get it dynoed. Um, I don't know if I'll have to retune the vehicle for this. I'm, I'm, you know, my guy who's helping me build the car over at Metric said that, or Metric Autosport said that, you know, he felt that we could just install it on the vehicle, obviously, and just run it and see what it is. And then maybe down the road, if we decide to do another tune and if, if it yields more advantages there, maybe. But I think just popping on a car, it's just gonna yield some sort of benefit especially considering what I'm running right now, because I'm running a three inch downpipe um, from Euroco, which I've had on the car since I pretty much got into tuning the car, but uh, it was three inch all the way up. And um, it served me well, but now I'm at a horsepower level, I'm at a horsepower level now where I'm starting to get more, more concerned about um, keeping the temperatures down, you know, extracting as much power as I possibly can from the vehicle, considering that, you know, it is a tuned vehicle, like this is why I'm doing this, is to make more power, um, and to build a faster car in general. So, uh, yeah, so track slag, thank you very much. So we have the downpipe is here now. We have, I actually ordered a, uh, a titanium cat back uh, for the Mark 7 GTI. Uh, that's coming, uh, courtesy of it's called urban exhaust so uh they make a really nice piece well I'll, I'll know if it's nice when it shows up but so i got a three inch cat back titanium system for the mark 7 gti that's going to be here it's supposed to be like half the weight of what the uh system that's on the car now or whatever is normally with the vehicle um so i'm pretty excited about that um, I also have a bunch of other weight, so I'm all about weight reduction at this point because I, you know, I'm trying to get the weight down. So there's, you know, I got Lexan windows or, or polycarbonate windows that are on the way. Those are inbound. 
and a few other things to do reviews on. So I'll let you guys uh, know what's up with those products when they get here. But yeah, like I said, if you like if you like what I'm doing here, uh, definitely hit the like button, subscribe, and let's get more uh, reviews in like this on parts that I think we all are interested in for our Mark 7s. And um, uh, yeah, let's see how this thing turns out.